Hi everybody, um, it's me again, Ken. Uh, I'm just going to do a slightly longer video. Well, it's going to be still quite short, but I'm going to do a slightly more of a plant haul um, of the plants that I bought recently from Eastern Tropicals. I was very excited about the Cebu Blue, so I'm not going to go on about that, but I am going to talk about the other plants that I got um, and then mention the Cebu Blue at the end as well. Um, so the first plant that I'm going to talk about is my fishbone cactus, which I'm going to show you here. And isn't that a beautiful plant? Um, so the the scientific name is Epiphyllum anguilleger, anguilleger, um, and it's an ep epiphytic cactus, which basically means that it would grow um, on something else, like grow on a an, on a tree or on a branch, something like that, which kind of begins to tell you about what this what this plant needs. Um, which is that surprisingly for a cactus it actually needs to be kept quite moist and it needs to be watered well um, but obviously it, they are a little bit prone to fungus and rot so you obviously need to be very careful with the watering and a very free draining soil and um, the soil this is in I think is quite peaty so I'm probably going to repot this into something a little bit more free draining um, it needs it so yeah it needs to be kept warm medium light um, not not direct light um, it propagates very easily sorry I'm reading this from notes um, and it, it's best to propagate it directly into the soil. I mean, I think you can literally just take cuttings and then put them directly into soil and it will root. Apparently it roots quite easily. Um, it is prone, as I said, to fungus and rot. And I think it's a good idea to be quite proactive as, as regards to pests. I, I mean, I use the SBD um, invigorator, which just sprays, uh, I spray things quite regularly just to make sure they don't get pests rather than trying to get and an, an interesting thing I read which which I, which I can see is that they can actually become quite top heavy if you look it sort of does hang over quite a lot and it's a it's a fairly sort of solid plant and apparently it, it can quite easily become top heavy and topple over so I've I've got this in quite a um a sort of heavy terracotta pot which I think will will sort of keep it fairly secure so that's the fishbone cactus okay and the, the next plant I bought was a begonia and this is the begonia belief and this is absolutely beautiful i mean both the underside of the leaf which is red and very kind of very sort of um obvious veining and then the top is this beautiful silver but also with the, again with the veining that you can see and the leaf is this really lovely shape i i love begonias i just think they're so nice um, but I, I sometimes have a little bit of difficulty with begonias, so I was quite interested in what I could find out about how to look after them. And again, I think they need moist soil, a humidity, but again, it's, they're one of these plants that I think um, can be prone to rot, so you've got to kind of really get that balance right between keeping it moist and humid, but not being too overly, um, you know, getting too humid. And I think, I think the secret to that is having a bit of air circulating around them. Um, but but be really careful not to put them somewhere like above a radiator or near central heating because that will cause them to dry out and they, they won't like that. They won't like the heat, particularly coming into autumn as we are now and central heating you know, is going to be coming on quite soon. You know, just to be careful of where you locate plants such, such as begonia. So that's something worth thinking about. And again, begonias propagate incredibly easily. I mean, I, I've been really successful actually with propagating begonias just like from leaf cuttings. You can split them sometimes. I mean, this looks like it could be split quite easily. You can see there's quite a few plants in the pot, I think. And you can take, you can just get a leaf and put, and it will root. You can also take leaf cuttings. So they're really easy plants to propagate. And I would certainly recommend having a go with that. Um, and the la the well the third plant I'm going to show you, I hope I'm not going too fast. Uh, is this beautiful thing, which is um, uh, a Syngonium erythophyllum, or the common name red arrow, and you can see why because the the leaves are this beautiful kind of pointed arrow shape, and they have this amazing red color underneath, and then this beautiful green very deep green color to the top of the leaf um it's it's trailing um so obviously you can have it trailing down or you can also grow it up a moss pole or a, a plank or something i i can never quite decide which i prefer i think i prefer trailing plants and i think this is just so beautiful look at that and i've got it in this yellow pot which is kind of quite an interesting choice which i'm i'm not completely sure about it's it's just sitting in the pot it's just a cash pot it's it's still in its um nursery container and i'm going to think about what to do with it a little bit later on 
Um, so this plant is apparently, I'm told by Sarah from Eastern Tropicals, incredibly easy to grow, very fast growing. She's, she's actually recommended that I take cuttings from it pretty much immediately because it, it's very easy to grow from cuttings, just put them in water and they'll root. And because it does grow so fast and you will get multiple plants very, very quickly. Um, and as, as far as other ways of, look, of looking after it, it needs medium light, not direct again. Again, I mean, you can always tell if a plant has got very dark leaves, very dark green, then it needs less light because there's more chlorophyll in the leaves so it can um, photosynthesize much better than plants that have less. So something like behind me here, this, this um, variegated, um, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but this, this needs better light because there's less green because the white doesn't photosynthesize, but the green does. So that's one way to tell. Um, and again, free again free draining soil, all plants kind of really need that. And this doesn't like to be stood in water. So again, soil moist, moist not standing in water, let it, let it dry it in between. So again, free, free draining soil is very good for that. And I'm just gonna put this down. So, and the last plant which was came in this hall, which is, again was the main reason why I, I, I did actually um, place this order with Eastern Tropicals was for my, my Cebu Blue, which um, apparently again is a very, very easy plant to, to look after. It's it's just like a pothos really, but um, apparently it should, it's a very small plant that I've got. I'm just going to grab it because it's just off camera here. It's in a kind of little propagator and pride of place. Uh, very small, but it will, apparently I'm told it will grow quite quickly. Um, I'm not sure whether it will go a bit more dormant over autumn, winter. Um, but I'm gonna obviously I might I'm gonna keep this under some grow lights over the autumn and winter because I think I really want to encourage this to grow as much as possible. So again, very easy, should grow quite quickly. Um, again, sort of you know good light. Um, keep the soil moist but well drained. Don't let it sit in water. Um, and I think this will grow really well. I'm hoping because it's absolutely my pride and joy at the moment. So I just wanted to let you know uh, a little bit more about the plants that I bought in my in my last um, sort of haul this month. And that's it all. I think that's everything I wanted to say about them. And um, I'm hopefully gonna make some more videos soon and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.